This is the FM Gold Channel of All India Radio. In the program Spotlight, now we bring you a discussion on government's developmental initiatives in Jammu and Kashmir. The participants are J.K. Verma, strategic analyst on JNK issues, and Nikunj Garg, journalist. Mr. Verma, after the abrogation of Article 370, winters came in Jammu and Kashmir, and uh, now the time has come where the government of india which is wanting to give a determined and concerted developmental push to both the union territories can actually start the work on the ground and show the people of jammu and kashmir that what they have been saying from day one that abrogation of article 370 will help in a speedier development of the state so you think that the government is moving in that direction now i strongly feel that the defending of article 370 on august 5 2019 is an important step in the progress of the state in fact the article 370 and 35a were helping only few people and separatist and it kept the state isolated and deprived of the progress and development of the state article 370 as i said was beneficial only to few people now it appears that the article was temporary article but it continued for a longer time the removal of article 370 would increase investment in education health and tourism the price of land which remained stagnant for a long time will also be enhanced however there is nobody is compelled to sell the property but as in whole of india the prices have gone up of the land considerably while it remained stagnant so that was a loss to the people of jammu and kashmir as tourism would be enhanced more hotels and your stay places will be opened and it will create more jobs which is really required kashmir was famous for film shooting which was considerably reduced because of the terrorism and law and order situation now it will increase which will be good for the state's economy Mr. Verma, that is yeah. fine, but considerable amount of time has passed. Close to seven months have passed. What do you see on the ground that the government is doing, both the UT administrations of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh, and the government of India, that people should believe these things? As I said, that few months were of extreme winter, and in those winter months, not much construction activity or other kind of developmental works can be undertaken in those heights. But now the time has come. Do you think that government should now give an extra push to its activities? Certainly, I feel you have made a very good point that lot of time has passed. But I feel it is not a lot of time, as you already said. Few months for the winter month and for the private investment, it needs a confidence, and confidence building will also take some time. But I very strongly feel that in Kashmir, in fact, if you see. in the whole of india there is a education boom and there are lot many medical colleges engineering colleges universities etc are open but not in kashmir the students of kashmir they have to go all over india for the studies but here again i will say 6 7 8 1 month is not enough to open the universities the land has to be acquired the plan has to be approved and money has to come and not only this and there are also so many other things that hospitals if you see there are no private hospitals in whole of jammu and kashmir the people of jammu and kashmir they have to come for the treatment to delhi or mumbai and we know that if you have to go to other places for the treatment how difficult and expensive this is i feel that all these things are in the mind of the government and they are trying to do it but i also think that still we have to see for some more time because still though economic development is also linked with the security situation of the state security situation is also coming under control but it will also take some time we must give some more time to see that things are coming on the ground or not a lot of educational institutions iim has been announced for jammu other central institutions have been announced for shrinagar and other places not only just in the valley but i am in jammu also so you think you know that other places like in guwahati like in jabalpur like in other places where the government fast track those institutions it used already constructed buildings to start their academic sessions 
similar measures can be taken by the government so as to ensure that people see a perceptible difference between year 2018 2019 and 2019 2020 and 2021 because eventually if the development is fast tracked only then people will believe the words of the central government that after post the removal of all these obstacles in the full integration of jammu and kashmir development has acquired a new and feverish pace you have made a very right point but still opening of the iim opening of the medical colleges all these things take time as far as the taking of the building is concerned i am privy to the opening of the few iits also which were announced and even in the plain area where there is no security problem they are still not fully functional so i think still things are coming on the ground and jammu and kashmir two things are very important one that the confidence building measures that is very important and the second the security situation should also be conducive for all these developments as for the security situation is concerned i feel that under operation all out and under cordon and search operations now the security forces are able to cordon off and exterminate lot many terrorists and the things are coming slowly and slowly under control if we see latest statement of dgp dilbag singh he had also mentioned that the infiltration is reduced and less terrorists could be infiltrated from the pakistan area in comparison to 2018 less terrorists have come in 2019 as well as they are able to exterminate more terrorists however still according to him there are about 250 terrorists in the area but they are not as effective as they were before so you think that once the security situation is fully under control only then developmental focus can be done or you think the time has now come that government of india must walk its talk and start delivering on its promises of better roads better flyovers better infrastructure better schools better colleges more industrial complexes i know it's easier said than done because difficult areas those are treacherous terrain that air lifting of material also is not possible at all times right amount of labor and qualified labor to construct buildings also is not something very easy but you think that now that security situation is also largely under control weather is also improving it is now the time that the government would want developmental push to aggravate the thing is that both security situation and the development project should go together it is not fair to say that once security will be under control then the development will come it will never be done in fact now the security situation is considerably improved however if we say that security situation is completely under control i think it will take little more time so now as you very rightly said the weather is also under control weather is also good so they must start at a fast pace these developmental projects the cottage industry should be start there were lot many weaving industry that should start people should get the employment and once the people will get the employment the younger people will not go towards terrorism but they will go towards the employment so both things must go together and as the security is considerably improved so this is very necessary that the developmental projects should also go at a fast pace so that the people also gain confidence and they understand that things are coming under control mr verma lot of ministers central ministers in an unprecedented manner it has never happened in any state or union territory before 36 ministers from various ministries from railways finance commerce prime minister's office have all visited in fact so much so foreign affairs minister was in jnk just yesterday day before also they have all visited they have also reviewed the progress of the projects like the railways further in road the state of jammu and kashmir road projects have been reviewed by the road and highways and transport minister other related projects educational projects have been reviewed by the human resource development minister you think this ministerial review is there but on the ground also now the local administration which is the union territory administration in a way reporting to new delhi now must expedite things so that people can feel the faster pace of development i think the visit of the ministers one it will develop the confidence of the people that ministers are coming 
एंड गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड द लोकल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज रियली सीरियस अबाउट द डेवलपमेंट नंबर टू वेन द मिनिस्टर हिमसेल्फ विल विजिट द लोकल ऑफिशियल्स दे विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट द गवर्नमेंट मीन्स बिजनेस एंड दे विल गो फास्टर थर्ड द मिनिस्टर विल हैव ए फर्स्ट हैंड इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द प्रोजेक्ट गोइंग ऑन एंड वॉट शुड बी डन मोर एज फॉर एज द विजिट ऑफ द फॉरन मिनिस्टर इज कंसर्न इट इज अ वेरी गुड मूव बिकॉज द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया विल अर्न द सम्पैथी ऑफ कश्मीरीज एंड दे विल फील दैट दे आर चिल्ड्रन हु वर इन ईरान एंड इन डिफिकल्टी द मिनिस्टर पर्सनली वेंट देयर टू कंसोल देम एंड ऑन द नेक्स्ट डे द एयर फोर्स प्लेन वेंट एंड दैट ब्रॉट द इंडियंस द पर्टिकुलरली कश्मीरीज हु आर स्टेन्ड इन ईरान I think it is a very good gesture and the people of Kashmir will certainly appreciate it. And coming back to development agenda since we are discussing development of JNK Prime Minister himself has announced a massive project 80000 crore rupee project has been announced in the Pradhan Mantri Jammu and Kashmir development project. So also there are a lot of projects massive projects like Zozila tunnel has to be made all weather like the highway in various parts starting from Jammu National Highway has to be four laned connectivity to shri mata vaishno devi has to be improved and all of those projects somehow are linked to the aspirations of almost all the geographical regions let's not only talk about kashmir valley because unfortunately in the past our discourse has only been kashmir valley centric which now thankfully this government has tried to correct to a very large degree so various areas like doda like kishtwar like kashmir valley like jammu region and all pockets have seen some announcements of various development projects so you think you know that with a faster pace when these projects come to fruition most people in the state of jammu and kashmir can actually enjoy the fruits of development as you have said so far unfortunately more consultation was on the valley which is a small area if we see the whole jammu and kashmir so that's why now there will be overall development of the whole region not only of the valley and for that so many projects have come prime minister also announced a very heavy package although it will take its own time but they are coming on the ground visit of the ministers make it clear that the government of india mean business so i feel the people of kashmir will also be satisfied by the progress of the various projects and the progress of the area and i wish that the things will be improved much faster than the people of kashmir think when we are talking of this ministerial visits and their supervision of these projects etc you think this is something that the government should continue to do irrespective of passage of time irrespective of how the projects are going the ministers and senior officers must continue to go in jnk to supervise these projects this process must continue because first of all as i said the local people will understand that government of india means serious business and they will do it more religiously and more cautiously one number two the local population will also realize that the so many people are coming and they mean business and not only this on the ground also the business will be seen the development of the projects will be seen and that will be very good future of kashmir and all of india how long do you think 2 to 3 years 3 to 4 years or 4 to 5 years when we can see a perceptible difference in the reality on ground in jammu and kashmir i feel that the difference can be seen every time it can be seen today it can be seen tomorrow it will be seen after the year and so on so forth because at present you will see the difference in the security situation you will see the difference in the projects starting you will see the difference in the announcement you will see the difference that so many ministers have visited it means that it is business and very soon the things will be okay although we are on the right path and the progress will continue thank you mr varma thank you you were listening to a discussion on government's developmental initiatives in jammu and kashmir the participants were jk varma strategic analyst on jnk issues and nikunj garg journalist This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio. This program is also available on our website newsonair.com. You can also follow us on the News on AIR app for updates. You may email your opinion about this program at airnsdtalks@gmail.com.